Hey everyone, this is Rob from the Card Treasury. Um, I just wanted to make a quick video uh, regarding ComC and how it compares to eBay. I get a lot of questions about this. Um, me and my business partners that run the Card Treasury, there's three of us, we are pretty much exclusively um, just working through ComC. Um, I think it's a great platform. Um, there's a lot of benefits to it uh, versus some of the other ways you can sell cards. Um, and so I get a lot of questions and I just, I put this easy spreadsheet together and I just want to run through it and kind of, um, show you guys the math behind Com C versus eBay. And, um, I've never done a YouTube video before, so this is my first one. So bear with me. Um, I'll try not to edit it as much as I can. Um, but there's a lot of good information. If you don't know what Com C, check out my cards, uh, um, dot com comc dot com um, it's a consignment site for sports cards and non sports cards where you send in your cards um, to their warehouse in Washington and they list them on their site and then they also list your cards on eBay um, for you and then if they sell the cards sell they take a commission of that um, and then you get the rest of the money so there's some other fees and stuff built in there um, but that's that's the gist of it. Um, and in this day and age where everyone, time is very important and uh, our most valuable thing, um, ComC really um, is a step ahead of eBay. Um, and I think there's a lot of benefits to it, um, but ComC can be intimidating. There's a lot of trust involved. You have to send in your cards uh, to someone and they're holding on to them. So there's a lot of trust there. Uh, you don't know what's um, going on behind the scenes, if you will. So. Um, that's kind of the barriers to Com C. So I just kind of wanted to throw this video out there, show you some numbers, and then um, hopefully you can gain something from this. And if I get a response and you guys want me to do more videos about Com C, um, I can certainly do that and kind of go into more details about the platform itself, um, some of the other benefits, some tricks, tips um, um, that I can put together. But um, without further ado, I just wanted to, this is a quick example of one card selling it on Comp C versus you manually selling it on eBay. And for this example, we're going to use a non-graded card. Uh, we're going to pretend that it was listed for six months, both on Comp C and on eBay, and then it sells. And when it sells, it sells for $20. So that's our example. All right. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go line by line through all of the different fees. So a listing fee. So when you send your card into Com C, the basic um, the basic fee is thirty cents, and it takes two months for them to process your cards at the thirty cents price. You can obviously pay more um, and have them process it quicker, like a month, two weeks, um, a week. Um, and then there is additional fees too, if it's a graded card, it's a big card, um, things like that. But 30 cents is the base. Um, on the eBay side, we're going to assume that you don't have a store subscription, um, which I think starts these days around $20 a month. Um, so if you don't have a store, your first 50 listings on eBay are free. Um, and then after that, there's fees associated with that. But we're going to assume you don't have a store on eBay. so listing fee or a processing fee, whatever you want to call that, 30 cents for Com C, nothing for eBay. Storage fee. So on Com C, when you send in a card, um, the first three months that that card is listed is free. Um, and that those three months start after it has been processed. And then every additional month, if the card is listed at 75 cents or higher, Com C will charge you one penny per card. Um, if it's 75 cents or lower, it's free. If um, there is a subscription where you can pay $50 a month um, to Com C and every card over 250, or you're only charged for cards over 250, so anything 250 and under are free. And we actually, in our card treasury account, we actually just um, got enough cards over that threshold, so we started paying for that $50 a month. So no storage fee on eBay, you can do, um, oops, um, no storage, storage fee on eBay, you can do, you know, list until canceled or list till sold. Um, so 
you can list it and just leave it there forever. eBay listing fee, we talked a little bit about this in the listing fee up top, but this um, really just calling out um, the 50 listings are free. And then once you're over between 50 and 100, it goes up, uh, I think it's around 30 cents each. I could be wrong. But for this example, we're going to assume zero listing fee because you're this one of your uh, listings is one of your 50 free ones. The next fee is card protection. So when you send in a card to ComC, generally you're going to put it in a, a penny sleeve and put them into boxes um, and ship them that way. When you send a card on eBay, I'm hoping that you're going to put it in a penny sleeve and possibly a top loader in between some cardboard with some painter's tape. Um, so we're going to assume it's about 10 cents for your penny sleeve and top loader. Um, I know you can probably get penny sleeves if you buy them in bulk for half a penny, um, but we're going to do a penny for penny sleeves and then some additional um, nine cents for the top loader. So that's when your ship or that's your card protection. Shipping to Comp C. So when you send in your cards, you obviously have to ship them there. So the minimum basic order is 100 cards. So you have to send in at least 100 cards. Um, 100 cards is about 10 ounces. And I did an example uh, shipping first class from Nashville, where I live, to Washington, uh, where they're located, is $4.33. So that $4.33 divided by the 100 cards, you get your $0.04 cents per card. Next is shipping supplies. Um, so shipping to Comp C, you're going to put your 100 cards together and you're shipping a bubble mailer. So my bubble mailers cost between 12, 15 cents. So that divided by the 100 cards gets you your um, 0.0014. And then when you ship your card from eBay to the buyer, you're going to have that bubble mailer. So that'll be about 14 cents. Next is the transaction fee. So now we're getting into the, the heavy fees, if you will. Um, so when you sell a card on ComC, whether it sells on their platform or through eBay or on eBay through ComC, you're going to be charged 5% of the sales price. Um, so that is um, no matter what the card is, um, it's just a flat 5% transaction fee. So 5% of that $20 is a dollar. And obviously nothing, no Comp C transaction fees for eBay. Now is the cash out fee. So you don't have to take your money out from Comp C, um, but it all, in comparing apples to apples, Comp C versus eBay, we want to get to the end point where both um, examples, you have the money sitting in your PayPal account ready to be spent on something else. So when you pull money out of Comp C, there's a 10% total cash out amount. So assuming you do that, you got the dollar that's subtracted from the $20 uh, for the transaction fee. You're left with 19. So 10% of that is $1.90. Okay. Now this is optional. You can leave your money on Com C and spend it on other cards. Um, but if you were to true, truly get down to what money do you have left, uh, we have to cash it out. So that's $1.90. All right, so now let's look at the eBay final value fee. Um, so this is the commission that eBay takes when they sell your card. So generally about 10%. I know that can drop down to 9 and I think maybe even 8% if you have an eBay store. Um, but generally 10%, so 10% of that two dot, $20 is 2 The next up is the PayPal fee. So when you sell your card, people are most likely going to pay through PayPal. Um, and that's 3% of the sales price, sale price plus shipping, um, and then an additional $0.30 cents per transaction fee. So in this instance, that's $0.90 cents, um, from that $20. And then your shipping cost. So you sell your card on eBay, you package it up, you ship it. Um, I just did from Nashville, where I live, to Chicago. Um, and that's about $2.80, and that's on the lower end of the, the first class shipping scale. I know this number can get higher if you're shipping to out west or somewhere across the country. Um, depends on where it's going uh, to and from. Um, but low end, about $2.70, $2.80 in that range. So that's what I put for this example. 
All right, so that's it. Those are all the fees that I've captured both on the ComC side and on the eBay side. If you guys can think of anything else that I miss, please let me know and I can um, adjust this and make this, make this a little better. But I think I've captured mostly anything. Um, and you can adjust um, based on any specific situation that you may have. So when you take in all these fees, here's what you end up with. So that $20 car that you sold on Comp C, you're going to net in your pocket $16.72 after all your fees. On eBay, you sell that same card for $20, you're going to net $14.06. So Comp C in this situation is 15.89% better um, than eBay uh, when you're looking at all the fees taken out. So pretty eye-opening numbers looking at it that way um, and just broken down with, with all the different fees. So um, definitely something you guys should consider um, and think about what you're doing right now and is Comp C or is eBay better for you. So that being said, the one thing that I haven't talked about is the ease of use of both of these platforms and your time. Time is the most valuable thing that we have. Um, you're never going to get it back. Um, so it's very important that you're maximizing your time. And uh, this time is worth money. Um, and that might vary by person. Um, someone that has a lot of time, they might value their um, time a little bit less than someone that has a full-time job, is, um, has kids, or something that's got a really busy life. Um, Time is very important and they want to make the most of every single second. So when you factor in time, let's um, take the same example and let's assume your time is worth $20 an hour. Like I said, it could be more, it could be less depending on what you have going on in your life. Um, so at $20 an hour, that's 33 cents a minute. So let's look at all the different time, uh, all the different things that take time, whether you're selling on Com C or eBay and see what the math looks like then. So you got to ship your cards to Com C. So you got to research the card, make sure it's something that you want to send in to Com C. You got to put it in a penny sleeve. You got to put it in a box. Then you got to ship it. So um, estimating about two minutes per card. Obviously, the shipping piece is going to be 100 cards at a time. So that's divvied up between each card. Um, but you want to put a little bit of time into researching a card before you send it to Com C. So we'll just call it two minutes. Um, maintaining your pricing on Com C. Once it gets to Com C, it's listed. That's not the end. You want to remain competitive. Um, ideally, make sure your card's the lowest price on there. So it's worth checking in on that card maybe once a month. Um, and that really takes five seconds to do. So we'll call that three cents for those five seconds. Now we go to eBay. You take a picture of it. You got to scan it. You got to create the listing. You got to do the title, make a good description if you want to do it right. Um, I, I think if you're good, you can get that at five minutes. If you're really good, you can get it less. Um, but the quality of your title, the quality of your description, maybe you're using your phone for pictures instead of scanning. There are ways to speed that up for sure. Um, but I think in general, a good average is about five minutes. Um, and you can get a good title, good description, and good picture. So at $20 an hour, five minutes is worth $1.65. Then you sell it. Great. Now you got to ship it. So you got to go in your inventory, find the card, take it out, um, you know, put it in a top loader, put it around cardboard, put some painters tape on it, put it in a bubble mailer. Um, then you got to print the label, put the label on the package. All those things take time. And I think if you're really good, you can get that down to three minutes um, to do that entire process. And that's just doing everything at home. Imagine if you, um, aren't able to print labels or you haven't gone down that road yet um, and you got to go to the post office that's way more time than that three minutes so we're going to stick with three minutes for this example um, so at twenty dollars an hour that's 99 cents so now if you look at the time com c jumps even more ahead sixteen dollars and three cents from that twenty dollar card and eleven dollars and forty two cents on ebay twenty eight point seven per four four percent better on com c than ebay so a huge jump um there's such a big difference when you factor in time in 
doing Com C versus eBay. And like I said, this can be different for everybody. If you're if you got a lot of time, maybe it's worth scanning the picture. Maybe it's worth doing the title and description on eBay. I mean, it's it really depends on your situation. So this is the basic math. Um, there are a lot of complexities that um, go above and beyond this. And if I do future videos, maybe we can we can dive into those and I can talk a little bit about it. But if you use this as your base, um, this is really shows how much better um, Com C can be than eBay. Now this is automatically figures out these formulas. I just want to show you some. If I increase these numbers, eBay starts to catch up to Com C because the 30 cent, the 30 cent PayPal transaction fee is less of an issue. Um, and the the ten percent fee from eBay starts to be less of a factor versus the always fifteen percent coming from Com C with the transaction and cash out fee. So, like if I put this at one fifty, for example, now Com C is only 055 percent better than eBay. eBay starts to catch up. Um, I think one ninety five is the break even point about. Uh, 195, 200 um, is where Com C and eBay are pretty even. So if you have a card, a higher end card that you're going to sell for, you know, 150 to 200 dollars, it might be worth selling on eBay. Now, if you take that same amount and look at time, Com C is still going to be ahead of you, ahead of eBay. Factor it in time, 1.2 percent at a at a 195 dollar card. Sorry. Definitely something to think about as you're looking at how you're selling your cards, even if it's on Facebook. I mean, Facebook, obviously there's no fees, but you still have to take pictures. You still have to ship the cards. You still have to pay for shipping. You still have to talk to people. You have to um, deal with offers, counter offers, um, a lot of communication, a lot of time that Facebook takes up. Your posts could get buried once you post it by a bunch of other posts. Um, same thing with Instagram. Um, those are good avenues to sell cards uh, pretty quickly, but think about the time that it takes to do those and kind of weigh your weigh your options versus Com C. And now, last but not least, I'm just going to go over some pros and uh, maybe some cons to Com C. These are just very general, and I can do uh, more videos that are a little bit more detail. So, pros to Com C: cashing out is optional, like. If you want the money in your pocket, you obviously have to cash out, but you can use that money to buy new cards. Um, one thing you can do to limit your cash out um, penalty, if you want to call it that, is you can use that money to buy a really expensive card um, and then have that card shipped to you and then maybe resell that card. That's another option. Uh, that's a deep, uh, some deeper strategy on Com C to get money out. Uh, you can lower your cash out percentage if you... Uh, convert your money to block gift, into block gift cards. They have a partnership. Um, so if you're constantly buying wax, um, you can lower that percentage of cash out fee and convert it to block gift cards and um, get more money that way. Changing prices is simple, like really simple. Um, it takes a second, if that. Um, uh, there's been so many cases throughout the year where a player will do something amazing or get hot right away. I'll go on Com C, change the prices, um, raise them up really quick, and then um, trying to beat the market or the same thing with lowering prices. So it's really easy um, to do that. Um, next pro, all cards are listed on eBay as well as Com C. People often think like, oh, I got to ship to my cards to Com C, then I'd lose out on eBay. You don't. eBay is still in play. Com C is listing your cards on eBay, which is probably the most beneficial um, thing for Com C. You don't have to do the work. They scan and list all your cards. If you send something in, they do the description. They take the pictures. You don't have to enter any of that stuff. Um, sometimes they, there are instances where they screw up. Um, I'll talk about that in the cons. Um, but that's something you just got to keep an eye out. You can, you can still sell your cards on Facebook and other platforms. You just download a picture of your card on Com C. If they want it, you can 
have Com C ship the card from them to your buyer that you worked out a deal on uh, with on Facebook. Um, you just have to make sure you're factoring in the shipping cost um, into the, the purchase price and all that. It's a great platform for flipping. That's a whole nother video, just buying and selling cards without even touching them. Um, they just sit in the warehouse in Washington. You buy them, raise the price, sell them later for more money. You can run promotions if you want to, for the weekend, maybe do 25% off. Um, there is small fee associated with that. Um, and these promotions do not, unfortunately, pass through to eBay. Uh, so it's just a Com C promotion. And time. Time is definitely the biggest, the pro to Com C. Um, there are a lot of other benefits that I didn't list here to Com C, but um, time is definitely by far the biggest. And then finally, I wrote down a couple of cons, just being full, tra full transparency here. You don't physically have your cards. They're in a warehouse in Washington. That's a piece of this that is hard for people to get over. So they have your cards in Washington. It that's you're limited to to that to Com C. Like you can't like take your cards to a card show and sell them. You can't um, take them out of the box and look at them every couple of days. Like you're limited to what you can do because you do not physically have your cards, and that's a hard piece for people to get over. Um, but I think it's worth it when you look at the time and the money. If you want your cards back, you do have an option. You can have them ship them back to you, but it does cost money um, to do that. Um, depends on how many. You can ask them to do like a special freight um, shipping if you want all your cards shipped back at once. Um, but there are options. You just have to pay them to, to ship your cards back. Some, Like I said before in the pros, sometimes they identify your card correctly when they process it. Um, so just something you have to keep an eye out, but you can send them a note really quickly, really easily, and they'll get it fixed within a day. Um, at around the sale price of 190 like we talked about before, it's probably more cost effective to sell on eBay. Um, but that's not factoring in the time yet. That's just plain dollars. Um, so that's kind of the break, the break even point. And really, do you want to send in two, three, four hundred dollar cards to Washington and have them sell? Not at this point that stuff I would um, just from a security standpoint keep them with you and sell them um, Facebook eBay whatever there are additional fees for graded cards um, is an additional 30 60 cents cards over $50 there's just uh, enhanced security fee for expensive cards um, if you have like a jumbo card there's an additional fee so there are additional fees um, more beyond what I just showed you, but that pertains to either A, the type of the card, or B, if you want it processed quicker. Uh, for, say, you wanted the card to be processed and put on Com C within a week, you'd have to pay for that. And it's not as competitive on eBay. And this is the biggest con um, to Com C. And what I mean by this, and I'll show you an example here, is it is harder for you to be competitive on eBay if you're selling your card on Com C and to eBay through Com C. So here's a card that I have listed a Max Scherzer printing plate on Com C at $37.74. Okay? So now if you look at that same card, Com C listed it on eBay for me. It's listed at $43.94 plus $4.99 shipping. So um, this is where competitiveness um, becomes more difficult. So if I want my card to be the lowest on eBay, say it's $20 or whatever, I would have to significantly lower my price on Com C so that after Com C adds in additional fees, additional shipping, which they obviously do when they post stuff on eBay, um, I would have to price it significantly lower on Com C than I would probably like to, um, just to make sure my card is like the lowest price on eBay. And hopefully this makes sense. I can go more in depth on uh, in a future video, but um, this is probably the biggest downfall um, to Com C. And our strategy is make sure we're 100% competitive on Com C, and then just let the prices fall as they may on eBay. We try to be a little bit competitive on both, but it's very hard to keep track. Um, and any eBay sales that we get through Com C are really just bonuses. 
Um, but we really just try to be competitive as we can on Com C and let the chips fall as they may on eBay. So that's all for the video. Uh, I appreciate you guys watching. Um, this is my first eBay video or YouTube video. So um, subscribe or do whatever you do on, on YouTube. Uh, write comments. Um, I also am going to create a Discord channel. Um, if you aren't familiar with Discord, it's a, it's a platform that you can get together, kind of the modern day forums, if you will, um, that we can talk about ComC, exchange tips, um, just try to try to get some um, conversation going on there. Um, if you're looking for more videos, let me know. I can try to create some more videos on submitting cards, you know, which cards are good to send in, how much it costs, um, how do you search for cards on ComC, some tips and tricks I've learned on that, um, best way to buy cards, what port sales are, um, how to navigate the whole interface, how to navigate inventory, reprice things. Um, so a lot of different smaller videos I can do. I know this one's kind of long. I appreciate you guys watching it. Um, I am not affiliated with ComC at all. I'm just doing this on my own. Um, but I think it's a great platform that more card collectors should be using and really thinking about what is the most efficient way to sell your cards. So thanks. Have a good day.